this video, we are making a buffalo chicken quesadilla. It is going to be awesome. We are going to transform this beautiful baked chicken that we made three days ago into something completely fresh, completely revolutionary. I already, I literally had this once today. I had two of these and I love them. So I'm like, we gotta share this because people need to know how to make the buffalo chicken quesadilla. So if you like videos like this, go ahead and throw this channel a subscribe. We are all about this food, fitness, lifestyle things. Low calorie, high flavor, that's what it's about. Showing people that number one, it is possible. And number two, this entire thing is actually much easier than everyone makes it out to be. You don't have to cut out fast food. You don't have to only eat salad. You don't even have to be miserable because we're having buffalo chicken quesadillas that are going to be so insanely easy and so delicious. And I'm talking a lot because it's going to be quick. And with all that being said, let's get cooking. Actually, honestly, we're barely even cooking today. We are assembling. Have a little impact on our smart display. Go ahead and smack that big old red button right down below. This might be a 4.42 soon. If we're lucky. If we're lucky. So today's dish, super, super simple. Come on over here, camera girl. Big chicken we already have done. Tortilla, normally low carb, but that's all we got today. So that's what we're getting. And then uh, got some red hot, got some plain Greek, got some ranch packet, and then also some low fat shutter. Okay, this requires cooking skill zero. Your newborn child could probably make this. That's what we do. <laughs> Three quarter cup. All right, so first things first, we're gonna make our base. We're gonna go and assemble in right here, but first we're gonna make a little bit of a sauce. We're gonna go for about half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. We have this awesome ranch mix. This is gonna take this plain Greek yogurt to the next level. Five calories per tablespoon. I'm probably gonna go with about two. Little cheat code. Don't tell everyone about this. Okay, so right now we're about 12 grams of protein. We're gonna add four ounces of this chicken right here to bring our grand total to about 30, 35 grams of protein per serving. I smell the ranch. I know, it's really nice. <laughs> Those little ranch packets, these are total loopholes. These are actually very, very tasty, fairly low calorie, and a great way to really make a lot of basic ingredients fun. Put it in plain Greek yogurt and you are dancing. We have some typical Frank's Red Hot Sauce right here. I'm just gonna add in just a smidge to get the chicken nice and right. Really, again, zero calories, high flavor. This stuff's perfect. That's all you're putting in? No. Well, I just wanna stay look. Next up, we're just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a base of this Frank's Red. Just to the bottom here. I personally love hot sauce. I'm a huge fan. Our little knockoff ranch with the Frank's Red Hot is so delicious. And then here we go, we're gonna go ahead and spoon in our chicken for a delicious, ridiculous little snack. Mm. It's got that like, a little bit bitter, a little bit spicy, a little bit ranchiness to it. Very nice, a little bit more hot coming on out, not to kill it. Now, the last thing. We're gonna be doing a little bit of low fat cheddar. Again, scale this up or down based on what you're looking for. If you're currently losing a bit of body fat, don't go that hard. You can keep it very light. Low fat cheddar is actually a very great way to flavor your food without a whole bunch of calories. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rachel's making fun of me for licking my fingers. So what we're gonna do guys, we're not even gonna fully bake this thing. I'm straight up just gonna toast it. So here we are, we're folding this guy over and then straight up putting it in this toaster. Okay, we're putting it on medium toast twice and it's gonna come out perfect. Lily had a birthday. Lily had a birthday. So that was in there for about five minutes on just a regular toast. I already know how good this is, but I'm gonna try my best to do the first bite reaction. I was like, oh, wow. So expect one of those, except a little bit more theatrical. I love it. As you can see, it is kind of poking out the side just a bit. So there is quite a bit of good creaminess to this right here. We're gonna go ahead and plate everything, and then it's a taste test. We were literally just sitting here eating. I'm like, oh my God, Rachel, it's 
The new 60 that are here, welcome aboard. Thanks again. We get a huge kick out of this thing. Um, and honestly, I think it's just kind of fun to watch it go up. So I appreciate so many of you guys watching these things because they're simple recipes. We're having fun with it. We're building this community. I'm having an absolute riot with it. So anyway, thank you. Let me just take a bite. Wait, did we start the mine? Most important. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit this taste test real quick. We're gonna get a very good corner bite going here. The texture, the protein, just the comfort food. I love hot, I love Frank's Red Hot. It's the cheese, it's the crunch. This entire thing is so awesome. We made a video and it took eight minutes. These are easy. Very good, highly recommended guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to the 4.42. We'll be pumping out more. We got a chicken tenders video on the way, which is gonna be a riot. So stay tuned for that. Keep enjoying your food. Keep doing it right. And we will see you in the next video.